an act of Congress, a signature by the president, translates to money moving in your direction. This round of stimulus checks will be $600 for those who earn up to $75,000 based on their 2019 tax return and single parent households who make up to $112,500. $1,200 for married couples who make up to $150,000. Married couples and single parents will also get $600 for each child under the age of 17. Reduced checks will go to people earning between $75,000 and $87,000, married couples earning between $150,000 and $174,000, and single parents earning between $112,500 and $124,500. Checks or direct deposits should arrive in early January and will automatically go to those who receive checks in the first round. President Trump said he wanted to see those checks at $2,000, but congressional Republicans have resisted that, saying it's too costly. Democrats are calling on the president now to apply some pressure to his GOP allies. These Senate Republicans have followed you through thick and thin. Get them now to act and support the $2,000 checks. The bill also extends federal jobless benefits 11 weeks or until March 14th, paying up to $300 a week for those who qualify. There will be a gap in payments for some unemployed people because the law goes into effect January 3rd and applications will be accepted starting January 10th. Earlier this month in a special session, the legislature also extended state jobless benefits. Most of those will kick in after the federal ones are exhausted in March. We expect to hear a lot more about all of this in the coming days. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. And we have much more information on how to apply for unemployment benefits in Minnesota, along with that story that John just gave us on CARE11.com. Stay with us for any late-breaking developments, of course, on this story throughout the night.